everybody. Welcome to Bubble Talk with Burge. Rainbows and unicorns and Disney and flowers and all good things is what our Bubble Talk is about. So welcome to Bubble Talk with Burge. Are you ready to get Burge? I thought I would put on this uh, funky little screen here to make it look like it's all about rainbows and unicorns and beautiful things in the world. And let's not focus or say anything that you can't say on a Disney show. So I'm going to take that off because I'm being a little bit facetious. If I can take it off. Of course, I probably can't take it off now. Great. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So anyway, I thought it would be funny to start that way because I am wearing my Disney ears. And the reason why uh, this Bubble Talk with Birds is starting this way is, I don't know if you've been keeping up, but the continuing saga of, I can't even, don't even say the name, but it's what you're watching right now, it's that company. So they took us down for a week uh, or so because of certain things that we were trying to say, which were totally empowering for relationships and people. I'm not even going to say it on the video because um, their censorship is alive and well. So I just want to say welcome and uh, I'm just being tongue in cheek yet again um, for all of you who have been taking note that um, we were kind of shut down a little bit for a week and uh, we're back. So, uh, with Essence of Being, I just want to say uh, welcome back, that we are all about conscious leaders, okay, a global movement with conscious leaders empowering others to create a win-win world. And so, if we have to play Disney Life, which is, I love Disney, uh, my son's performing on a Disney cruise, actually, I love Disney, it's just that oftentimes in this culture I have found, literally, in the last week, I've been slapped in the face with what happens when you play big? What happens when you put your stuff out there and you get a lot of controversy back? You know, how do you fold down? Do you move through it? Do you go run in uh, the corner and hide? You know, there's been a lot of uh, activity lately around that because for me, playing big and being bold and being able to say what I want to say, which is tr totally about empowerment and love and harmony and being able to create that win-win world and letting go of judgment, letting go of any kind of uh, negative thoughts or negative beliefs or negative comments about anybody, okay? It's all inclusive. And so it's so interesting to me that when I started putting this out last week about, I'm not even going to say it, but it's one of the relationship uh, terms that I have used since 2007, and uh, we got shut down because of it. So uh, it's not negative at all, but some people are, are being uh, very sensitive right now. So the culture that we're living in right now is very sensitive about anything, seemingly. So <clears throat> I've had to really look at, okay, what is, how does that, uh, how does that make me feel, and how am I going to keep moving through things that I want to share with people that I've learned over the last 37 years about abundance and relationships and communication and purpose and leadership and all kinds of things about your lives, you know, that, that I play with. So, uh, I got slapped in the face, and it was unbelievably, uh, I was shocked. Of all people, to be called that uh, what, that I have hate speech, uh, of of all people to say that uh, we have that we condone violence, so and all these weird things that were going on this whole week, and so I had to ask myself, and I went and I asked the universe. I said, "Okay, what is this telling me? Am I playing? If I play really big." I might stir up controversy somehow because a lot of people are sensitive about certain things. And all I'm doing is trying to get the word of peace out there and prosperity and all of that good stuff, right? And yet 
people take it a different way or am I not supposed to be playing big? So what do you do? What do you do when you have controversy or when you have something come up and a block, okay, that you don't know what to do with and you say, well, I'm just gonna not, I'm just not gonna play anymore. I'm not gonna play big anymore, okay? I'm just gonna fold down. I'm not going to um, be out there and sharing my my joy or my wisdom or my my freedom or my love, okay? So uh, being that we are building a global movement of conscious leaders, you know, this is coming up, I'm sure, for lessons for us all. What do we do? So, yes, I wanted to run away. Yes, I wanted to fold down. Yes, I wanted to go hide. Yes, I wanted to be angry. Uh, yes, I was perplexed and shocked. And like I said, of all people in the universe, you know, I mean, I this is not what I preach. I don't preach or say or share or anything about, you know, hate and all of that. So it's been quite an interesting week this week for me. So I just wanted to ask you, what do you do when controversy or a block comes up that stops you from your vision, that stops you from your mission or your legacy or your dream? Do you want to quit? Uh, do you feel like you're alone? Do you feel like you're frustrated? So that is why we created the Conscious Leadership Academy with Essence of Being so that we can all do this together, so that we can all unite and have a win-win world, so that we don't feel alone, so we don't feel frustrated. And if we do feel frustrated, what do you do about it? You know, it's about what do you do after the controversy? What do you do? That's what really, how do you respond to it? That's what really matters. And if your why is big enough of why you're doing the things you're doing in your life, in your business and in your personal life, then that continues to motivate you to continue to do it no matter what. You know, so what? So what that they call you names? So what that they say you're not right? So what that they try to shut you down? So what that you go bankrupt? Or so what that you get a divorce? Or so what? All those things that happen in our lives where we think, why me? Why is this happening? So it's just a matter of saying, you know what? I do matter. I do make a difference. And I am important. And I'm going to keep sharing because I want to have an impact in the world. And I know you do too. So those are the things you can say, okay, to yourself. I matter. I'm important. And I'm making a difference. No matter where you are in the world, no matter what you're doing, you get to look at the evidence, right? About is it, you know, what's working and what's not. And so I've had like a night and day experience of looking at all the stuff that doesn't work and then looking at all the stuff that does work and having that come to me. So thank you all of you who are online right now looking. I see Donna, hi Donna and June and some other people I missed and Patty. There's a bunch of people that came on. I was ranting and raving, but I thought I'd be rainbows in Disney. So there's no problem with anything I'm doing for Facebook. Okay, so we're back online, and I'm thrilled to be able to share with you uh, yet again our Essence of Being cards. You know, yay. So we're going to be having a journal pretty soon. Be watching out for that our Essence of Being journals, uh, that you can pick a card and then journal on that card. And so, let's pick a card for us to focus on for this weekend. Let's see what I pick with my little Disney outfit here. Okay, well, orbiting in love, <laughs> creating synergy, one plus one equals three. So, interestingly enough, in our relationship module that we're in in our Conscious Leadership Academy. We're in the, we just finished our prosperity and our abundance module. And now we're in relationships. And so we're having our one day of essence of relationships in April. So come play with us there um, for sure. And also online, we have the whole 12 months online courses for you. But we are talking about orbiting in love. And that is one of the things that we're right in the middle of. What does that look like? Okay. And so I'll read it to you again. Have you fallen in and out of love? Okay. 
when you orbit in love, you are whole and complete within yourself. Then you can attract another whole and complete person who does not expect you to fill up the chasm within them. Or we call it fill up their hole or fill up their void. Okay, From this place of wholeness, you can now create a true relationship of love. And this becomes an energy unto itself, born from the magic of dynamic union. And what that means is there's me and there's you, and you put us together and it creates us, a whole other energy where you don't have to lose you. So, so many people get into a relationship, whether it be business or personal, because they're saying to that other person, make me whole and complete. Prove to me that I'm lovable. Prove to me that I'm worth it. Fill up my hole. Fill up my void. Make me whole and complete. You're my better half. So what does that make you if someone leaves? A half person? So the point of this is, if you're whole and complete and you attract another whole and complete person, when you come together, it creates something even bigger than yourself. Okay? It becomes us. You don't lose yourself. You create and expand into a whole nother energy, a whole nother state of being. So my husband and I, we're whole and complete. And we don't ask each other to fill each other up so that we feel that way. We come that way. And so if something happens where he leaves or I leave or I die or whatever, yes, we'll be sad. Yes, we'll miss each other. Same thing in a business. Yes, there are things that happen, and you are sad or whatever your feelings are around it, but the point is you don't lose who you are. You know, I don't, I won't lose who I am. I do not define who I am by my relationships. I am whole and complete, and I have full integrity of who I am and what I stand for. And my power comes from within, okay, with that connection that I have with Great Spirit. So... When I bring in a whole other person into my life, yes, the human part of us wants to say, please love me, or please work with me, or whatever, so that I can prove to myself that, you know, all is well and that I'm lovable. And yet, at the same time, what you're doing is you're asking that other person or that other energy to um, fill you up when, in essence, they have the same thing going on, right? They, they try. It's like the honeymoon stage. They try, but after a while, it's really exhausting and really, really tiring, okay, to do that for each other. Just because if you're trying to fill up your own hole and you're trying to fill up somebody else's, it can get really tiring. And so a lot of times that's why people fall out of love, okay, because it's exhausting. So my suggestion, and this is a Buckminster Fuller uh, philosophy about orbiting. You know, you orbit instead of fall, because as soon as you fall in love, it stops, right? It's like gravity. You fall. Bam! So, orbiting in love can mean that you have an orbit of who you are, and then when your orbits intersect, that's the power, that's the magic, that's when the synergy happens. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts, okay? One plus one equals three. And that is what we're learning in our relationships module with our Conscious Leadership Academy. So, it's interesting that I pulled that because we were just talking about that. So, um, that's my message for us this weekend. So that when you go out and you're in a relationship, or if you want a relationship, or even if you're alone, just kind of notice in business and in personal notice, am I asking that other person to like me or love me enough so I feel loved? Or do I feel loved myself? And we go into self-love quite a bit in our relationship class, okay? So, because it start, there's three different kinds of relationships that we have. We have our relationship with self. We have our relationship with others. And we have our relationship with the universe, okay? Or your connection, whatever you want to call that. God or Source or Great Spirit. So those are the three types of relationships you can have. And we delve into them uh, very deeply in our Essence of Relationships and also in our Conscious Leadership Academy, 
with Essence of Being. So I invite you all to go to essenceofbeing.com slash CLA, which stands for Conscious Leadership Academy. So you can see all about what that's all about. But also, you can go to essenceofbeing.com slash EOR, which stands for Essence of Relationships. And just come to our one day or check it out and see, perhaps, there might be something here more for you that we are pack animals, okay? And whether it's Disney or not, we're pack animals. And sometimes it's really tough to do things uh, on our own and remember our network is our net worth. And I'll leave you with that until next time. So that's our Bubble Talk with Burge. If you've been Burged, I'll see you next week. Thank you.